Hello everyone, it's Landon Remixes. You might be wondering what this video is all about, and I'm here to tell you. Today makes three years since I made this YouTube channel, Landon Remixes, on August 21st, 2010. Honestly, I had no clue what else to do for a special, so I thought I'd make a video chocked full of this channel's history and how it's grown in the last three years. The channel's name was inspired by, not, by an idea, a concept I barely even understood at the time. I saw a video which was a mashup of two songs that I really liked on a YouTube channel called Benji Ross One. I realized that I wanted to do mashups just like that, so I called my channel Landon Remixes. The first video I uploaded was actually just a simple video I took at Soulfest, a live performance by the band Hawk Nelson. Interesting fact, I actually attended that concert with Nate, the dude that I make commentaries with sometimes. Before that, I had made a video with my friend Casey called I Beat the Crap Out of Super Spawn 99. The video ended up getting uploaded a little while after I started my channel, but it began a series of doing skits on the channel, followed by a commercial I made with Nate for an event that was happening at the beginning of that school year. I began to make mashups and do some remixes too, but to be honest, they completely sucked, and I ended up taking them down about a year later. But that's beside the point. During my 8th grade year at school, Another friend of mine, Gabe, started a channel rivalry with mine on his channel, Randomness Producting. This inspired a competition to see who could make a video with the most views in a week. The video I made was called Fun With Food, where I did gross things with food, even blending some of my least favorite smooths, <laughs> favorite foods into a smoothie and drinking it. The video began the real push for me to start making more skits on my channel instead of uploading music. On Christmas of 2010, I got a new HD camera for making more skits with it. My first video on this camera was called My HD Music Video, where I essentially showed off my new camera. The colon L emoticon was first introduced as new as my new channel logo during the end of the video How to Make Waffles, which was a parody of the randomness producting video How to Make Toast. The logo stuck and I thought it was cool, so I kept it. Soon after that, I made a video called The Dunch Bag, which was a fake commercial for a lunch bag that also held your dinner. Needless to say, it was one of the greatest ideas I had ever had on the channel, and The Dunch Bag remained a part of it. Fast forward much later, after I began making skits for a little over a year, I decided to call it quits. My last great idea was a video called Christmas Curse, where I opened a Christmas present early and a mug continued to follow me around all day to the point of driving me to insanity. I took a long break from making videos, but I began to miss YouTube. In February of 2012, I, brought, I bought Minecraft with my birthday money, and I really enjoyed the game, but it always felt like something was missing. During March of 2012, I began to watch a YouTuber named ClashJTM who inspired me to start making Minecraft commentaries just like him. On May 25th, 2012, I uploaded my first Minecraft video, which was me talking awkwardly while playing the survival map Skyblock. The series was a hit, and I stuck with making Minecraft videos. Later that year, on my two-year channel anniversary, I hit 100 subscribers. At the time, that was a huge milestone for me. I made a video with my girlfriend Amy, who had been watching my videos from the very beginning. Life as a commentator has sure been interesting and has been quite the ride since I decided to take that step in my channel's history. On April 23rd of this year, I announced that I would become a DJ. I uploaded my first DJ track three days later, my edit of Internet Friends by Knife Party, which had been my YouTube outro before then, and still is. After that, I began to upload more and more tracks and mashups, and taking the matter of being a DJ more seriously. Just three months after b deciding to become a DJ, I was invited to play at a skate park show at Soulfest, the very music festival that my first video was of. It was a huge honor and I ended up having a great time. For now, I'm sticking with being a commentator and a DJ with the channel. This ride has been all about making content that you all love, and changing up my style all for the better. Recently I hit 200 subscribers, less than a year after I hit my 100 sub milestone. It's been amazing, and I'd like to thank my first subscribers who have been here on the channel as long as I have. Thank you all for making YouTube something I enjoy, and something I'm going to stick with for a long time. And as usual, I love you all. Peace out.